In our last video, we learned how to enter data into MATLAB and manipulate it. Now we're going to learn how to make a graph and export it as a PDF or a PNG or whatever format you prefer file. So the command we're going to learn about is called fplot. So we're going to graph the function e to the minus x minus 1. So if we type fplot of, first you have to say what the name of the variable is, fplot at x. And then we write x of minus x minus 1. Hit return, and up pops a figure. And that's the graph of e to the minus x minus 1 between negative 5 and 5. Now we may not want to have it between negative 5 and 5. So we're going to do this again, except now we're going to plot this. We're going to add an extra field. We're going to say negative 1, 3. So this, before we just said f plot x at x e to the minus x minus 1, which automatically gives you a graph from negative 5 to 5. Now we add negative 1 to 3, and there's our graph from negative 1 to 3. Now, once we have a graph, we can spruce it up a little bit. So we might want to add a label on the x-axis and a label on the y-axis. The way you add labels on the x-axis is you just write x label, and in quotes, what you want to put on the x-axis. I will just label it x, and we'll label the y-axis, say f of x. And then we'll give the whole thing a title. We can say, we'll call it the graph of e to the minus x minus 1. And now let's see what the whole thing looks like. There's our figure. Along the x-axis it says x. Up here it says f of x. And it says, oops, graph of e to the minus x minus 1. When we typed in e to the minus x minus 1, it said e to the minus. Oh, yeah, great. I'll put e to the minus. I'll make the minus a superscript. But it didn't know about the x. So if we want to do this uh, correctly, whatever you want to be in the exponent, you put inside curly braces. So inside curly braces, that's our new title. And it comes out right. e to the minus x minus 1. And now we've got ourselves a graph. OK, now that we've got our graph, we can try to adjust it. So if you go up to the figure and you hit Edit, there are figure properties and axes properties. So let's look at the axes properties first. There we go. We've got our property inspector. And on the axes, it basically says, here we have x limb. It says that x goes from negative 1 to 3. If we didn't want it to go from negative 1 to 3, we only wanted it to go from negative 1 to 2, then it would give us the graph from negative 1 to 2 instead. But let's put it back to 3. Okay, We're back to 3. The other thing is the location of the axes. <coughs> the uh, x-axis location, it put it at the bottom. Usually, we want to have our axes be at the origin. And now the x-axis is at the origin. Y-axis location, by default, it puts it on the left. Let's put it at the origin. And now we have a graph that seems more like what we're used to seeing. We've got the x-axis and the y-axis and the graph of e to the minus x minus 1. A couple other things you might want to do. You might play with the tick marks. Here we've got tick marks at minus 0.5. 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2, and 2.5. And there is a 3, but it's off, off the edge. By clicking here, you can adjust that. Likewise, the Y tick marks. And if your labels aren't big enough, let's make the labels 14 point instead of 10 point. Now they're le really legible. Finally, we're going to export the graph. Go to File. Save as, and it gives you an option. You can save it as a figure file, or you can save it as a PDF, 
You can save it as a PNG. Those tend to be the most useful either as a PDF or as a PNG, which you can then upload to be part of your homework. That's it.